know. So thank you, Fausto. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, everyone at the Cyber Trading University team. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the um, chat box that we have going here so that I can see your questions and comments. Okay, great. Awesome. So again, if you can hear me and see my screen, please type a yes for me and then type where you're dialing in from. Because Fausto forgot to mention the most important thing we have in common is that we're both from Long Island. And I did my best to say it the way I used to, Long Island in New York. <laughs> I don't live there now, I'm out in the Midwest. My husband's from the Midwest and we live in St. Louis now. But oh, cool, we got another Missouri resident here, Iowa, and no more St. Louis, Vancouver, the Netherlands, Calgary, Louisiana, love it. All right, well, I'm so glad you guys are here with me today. And as Fausto said, I have that industry experience. I have real life trading of my own experience and everything in between. So I want to go ahead and get started with our, my time here. And so my presentation today is how I trade momentum, RSI power zones, setups in today's markets. And I did take down the tickers you guys wrote, and we're going to get to those at the end. First, I just want to check and see here, you know, have you guys ever wondered what it would be like to have an expert analyst in your back pocket? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to finally trade with confidence? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to finally make enough with trading that you could live the life that you deserve? Now, would you like me to share an easy way to amplify the power of an indicator that's in every single trading system out there? Type a Y for me if you'd like to see that. Would you like for me to share an easy pattern that allows you to predict trends and price and momentum and allows me to do it for you? Would you like me to share an easy way to trade futures, stocks, and options? All right, how many of you want to get as much as possible out of our time together? You know, I want that for you. And for most of you here with us today, this is gonna be a long-term relationship. Once we show you how simple this is, once we show you how easy it is to consistently extract money from the markets, once we show you how fast your business and your life can grow, you'll wanna hang out with us for a lifetime. Now, in a moment, you're about to discover how to make money with stocks and options, even if you suck at picking them yourself. In a moment, you're about to discover how to capitalize off making trades at the best prices and the best times. And you're about to discover how to catch market turns and ride the price waves up and down in only minutes a day. Would you like me to show you that? Go ahead and type a yes for me in the chat box. Because my promise is that by the end of our time today, you will know what you need to pick the best trade, when to enter and when to exit in only minutes a day. So would that be okay if I pull back that curtain for you? Awesome, I love it. I'm seeing all the yeses flying across the screen. Let's me know you guys are here, you're engaged, you're ready to go. So as you well know, trading involves risk. And it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in my presentation. With that, if you haven't been following me for a while, you probably are wondering, who is this lady and why should we listen to her? Well, here's a mercifully short introduction. So I'm Hema Reddy, and I'm originally from New York, like I said, Long Island, the hotbed of the markets, right? We've got the center of the financial world right there. Now, I started out at 16 years old learning futures trading from my dad, who was a successful trader in the GAN style of trading. In fact, my dad was so far ahead of his time that he actually got a huge chunk of Amazon stocks right at the beginning. I went on to become a certified CMT, working as an analyst at Piper Jaffrey, as Fausto mentioned, before I went out on my own to help traders directly. And over the past 20 years, between my professional analysis on Wall Street, my international publications, and my proprietary analysis and education, I have helped hundreds of thousands of individuals create a sound plan for their financial future. I'm an international speaker presenting to institutional portfolio managers and analysts, as well as individual traders. And I have been blessed to appear on Wall Street Journal, Barron's, Bloomberg, Reuters, The Street, Benzinga, and then The Alphabet, NBC, CNBC, Fox, ABC, features in Stocks and Commodities Magazine, and with TradeStation. I'm also the author of The Trading Methodologies of WD Game. So how did I get here? All right, that's quite a story. So is it okay if I take a few minutes and tell you my story? It'll go by like that, in a snap. Go ahead and type a yes for me if you want to hear a little bit more about how I got here in front of you guys today. Okay, so now I'm a successful trainer and educator, but it hasn't always been like this. 
Okay, years ago, life seemed great. I was in the center of the action as an analyst at Piper Jaffray, making them a ton of money, starting work at 5 a.m. and burning out quickly. Now, is anyone else a corporate cog making someone else rich? I know, right? It's a path that starts out, you know, for most of us. But at some point I thought, you know, there must be more to life because the money was good, it was. But I never got to see my family. I had like no life, you know? I was starting to become a ghost in my own world. Then things went really south really fast. The bottom dropped out of my world when my beloved dad and mentor died suddenly. At first, it felt like my whole world was crashing in because I had to leave my job that was you know, steady and great to tend to financial and legal family matters. But then I realized that this might be my ray of light, my hope to get out of the corporate grind. And I seized it with both hands. Because you see, while I was apprenticing with my dad when I was a teenager to learn the markets, I had started a report called the skinny on the mini. I started out as just another exercise to prove that I knew what the markets were doing. But soon my dad started making money with it and relying on my little report. And then I shared it with other traders and they were benefiting too. But all that stopped when I joined the corporate world, you know, conflicts of interest, right? And all those years, those traders were hounding me to get the report back. <clears throat> so when I had to leave my job and take over my dad's accounts to trade for my family, to trade for my mom's future, I realized that it was time to bring back the skinny and the mini and reclaim my life. So I sent out the call to my former subscribers and they answered yes. They would love to get back my report that ROI from them an average of seven times out of 10. And they couldn't wait to leave the hard work back to me again. The result was that I had time to trade my dad's accounts that I inherited from my mom. I had time to trade mine accounts again. And I started maximizing the trading methods of WD GAN and became the leading expert on GAN. I started teaching others the hard earned secrets that I had learned from my late father. And in a moment, I'm going to show you those very secrets and we're going to dive in really deep because what I've discovered along the way and the topic of momentum, right? This presentation called how I trade momentum is that trading momentum can be easy. Momentum made easy is our first topic of today. Why? Because first I need you to understand how momentum works. Okay. And a formula one race car track will have you understanding momentum in no time. How many of you have traded with momentum before? Type a yes for me. If you've even just attempted to use a momentum indicator of any kind, even if you had trouble with it, you will understand momentum in just a few moments. Okay. So everyone bring your eyes back in here. And look at this top left of the screen. We have got the start of the racetrack. Okay, so let's put ourselves in the driver's seat, that car hanging out at the start line. You rev up your engines and you go. Now, you pick up speed really quickly, right? If you're driving a car like this, which means accelerating on the straight runs. But then you see a turn coming up and you have to prepare accordingly. So you ease off the gas to slow down or decelerate even if it's just a little bit, so that you can have more control as the car whips to the other side of the turn. Then after you make the turn and the road straightens out again, you hit the accelerator one more time. Do you get the idea of how you'd accelerate and decelerate on this track? Type a Y for me. If you understand this car going on this track has to speed up and slow down to actually win the race, right? It's not just constant speed all the time. Great. Well, guess what? Congratulations. Now you know exactly how price momentum works. Well, let's look at it another step out. So see this helicopter in the top left of the screen? I want you to get that point of view now, okay? Looking down at the racetrack. So now we're in the helicopter and we're looking down at the road. We have a bird's eye view of it. Guess what, folks? The racetrack becomes price as you see it on your stock charts, futures charts, options, it doesn't matter. And momentum is generally plotted on the bottom as a subchart. All right. Oh, very cool. Dean says he did professional circuit racing or bracing. I think that was, B was a typo. Awesome. We have an actual racer in here. So he can definitely understand what I'm talking about. It's speeding up and slowing down. So how does this translate to our price chart? Okay, here we go. Everybody take your eyes to the left side of the screen. 
Look at price like a momentum. When price is trending higher, you've got upward momentum that's improving. That's how it works. That's how they're designed. Momentum is derived from price. It moves with price. But then there's a little glitch that happens, which we can make money off of. Momentum peaks before price peaks. So that momentum that's going upward generally begins to slow down like the car about to take the turn and it peaks before price does. This makes momentum a leading indicator, okay? A leading indicator is an indicator that is hinting to you what price is gonna do before price does it. So if you don't know what a leading indicator is, definitely jot that down. Leading indicators give you a heads up on price. Okay, so prices don't only go up. We know they go down as per the market post, you know, Powell speak yesterday, right? So what happens when there's falling prices? Well, it's the same idea. During falling prices, there's falling momentum and it's becoming a more and more powerful force, okay? See how it's really slopes even further. But then when price is approaching a bottom, momentum usually bottoms first. Again, allowing you to have that heads up on what price is gonna do. Therefore, momentum indicators can warn you about hidden strength or weakness and give you a heads up, especially when it comes to potential market turns. So I have used a very widely known thing, power car drives on a racetrack, and this taught you a key concept to one of the hardest things it is for CMT candidates, anyone new to charts to understand. So if you follow momentum now, you understand how momentum works after this brief explanation, type a Y for me, then I'll know I did my job. Awesome. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Jim, Terry, James, Canty, Peter, Bill, Dave. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Heads up indicator, okay? So now, now that we've made momentum easy to understand, in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can make money trading momentum. Let's first get familiar with how momentum moves through the markets that you know using my special indicator. Now, my special indicator is called the RSI power zones. The RSI power zones, as written here, can be used on any market in any time frame. On the left side of the screen, I have markets, indices, so that can be uh, your ES futures, NQ, YM, RTY, anything like that, or related ETFs, stocks, Apple, Google, Micron, you know, cannabis, whatever, ETFs, equity based like SPY, gold, GLD, SLV, we got those questions in, bonds, this can be US, like the US and 10 year future symbols, or it can be, you know, the boon or anything else. How about FX? How about currencies? You've got your pound, your Kiwi, your Aussie, everything else in between. Commodities, gold, oil, natural gas, silver, pork bellies, lean hogs. If I just stated an asset class that you trade or that you care about, type a Y for me. Because all that you need is an asset class that can be traded on a time frame and you can apply momentum the way that I do. I've got some time frames listed here, monthly, weekly, daily, 60 minute, 15 minute, five minute, okay? These are just a few. The key is that it's a time frame. So you can go down even to a one minute, as long as the fixed intervals of time on that chart, you can use this indicator. So let's go ahead and take something that I know we all can relate to, a commodity market on a monthly time frame and practice understanding how momentum actually moves with price as per my RSI power zones. So here's the RSI power zones. And each of these zones represents an area of expected momentum action. The lower two lines are the RSI bear support power zone, meaning in a downward market, we're expecting the RSI to stop between those lines. The next two lines are the bull support power zone. So in an up market, we're expecting the RSI to hold or find support between those lines. After that, we have the bear resistance power zone, the upper two red lines, where in a weak market, we expect the RSI to roll over at that set of levels. And then lastly, the bull resistance power zone, where in a strong market, we actually expect the RSI to fly up high into that zone. Now, the market at the top listed here, 
light sweet crude oil futures? Do you trade CL? Do you have a car? Do you have any uh, you know, mode of transportation you use that depends on the price of oil? Well, then guess what? You care about oil, okay? Whether you trade it directly or not. So that's why I'm starting with this to make sure we all can understand in a market we can all relate to. So here we go. Let's take a ride with momentum and price using oil to start. Now, this is a monthly chart. Every single candlestick here represents an entire month of price action. And you can see I've gone back like over 15 years. So let's look at this real strong move up in price, right? We had a very strong advance higher. And all the RSI power zones did in a monthly chart was move from the bull support power zone to the bull resistance power zone. If you were looking at RSI this way, as opposed to the standard way, you would have caught these hints about this price action when it was happening. Now, price peaked and fell really, really hard. And when that happened, we had a lower low in price. Now, a lower low means that you violate the previous swing low. And a swing is a set of bars that have higher or lower prices around it. So here we've got a higher swing low because this candle right here is here surrounded by higher bars. After we broke below that, <clears throat> you can see the lower low in price formed and it fell to the bear support power zone. Hmm. Well, guess what? That was a clue. And look, I'm looking back. Those were years when I was working on Wall Street on a desk as an analyst. And I thought, ooh, and I was using this back then. And I thought, ooh, this is not a good sign. I think this might be everything that's going on here, okay? For the next several years, we had the RSI just hanging out sideways with price. But guess what? That bear resistance zone kept capping it, kept doing it over and over. That was a huge clue that the move in oil was not over. And then we had another downside move, big time, right? And by looking at the RSI power zones, it would have kept you bearish with this market instead of trying to pick what they call overbought and oversold, which are very uh, fixed levels, but they don't adapt to what the trend of the market is doing. So it lower lows in price and a fall to the bear support power zone, okay? So this rounds out this chart, I think to the end of Q1 of this year. So you can see that we had a rally into last summer and then guess what? cap with the R sign, the bear resistance power zone. And we've had obviously uh, some choppy price action since still remaining beneath that high. Do you see how walking through price and momentum that using RSI power zones can help you get a better idea of the trend and whether it's going to persist or not? Go ahead and type a Y for me. You can see that putting zones on the RSI can help you see what it's doing with price more clearly. Terrific. All right, let's look at another example. Again, to get you familiar. ETFs, weekly chart. How about the SPY? Who isn't at least attuned to what the S&P does, okay? I'm gonna tell you a side story because we're, you know, I have Long Islanders I'm with here, I know, at least over at Side for Trading University. So when I first worked in Manhattan, uh, my mom, I, I would commute from Long Island, my, my mom and dad would drive me to the train at 4.30 in the morning, it was ridiculous but they did. And there was one time my mom drove me to the market and she started talking about the Dow. Now my dad was my market guru, right? But my mom, lover, but she doesn't know a thing about the markets. She started asking me, oh, Hema, I heard that the Dow is doing really well. And I thought, oh dear, I better go check my charts when I get to work. Because if my mom, who doesn't know a thing about the markets, is excited about the Dow, well, first of all, the Dow is only 30 stocks. The S&P is 500 stocks and maybe we're getting close to a top. And sure enough, within a week or so, market topped out. Love my mom, but she's a great contrary indicator. Okay, so that's a side story for you because it relates to me taking the Long Island Railroad. Now, coming back to our screen here. SPY on a weekly chart, every candle represents one week. Again, same four zones that I just walked you through. Now look at this breakout that we had over consolidation back in 2016. Price broke and then pulled back, right? It broke out higher and then made this pullback to this red candle right here. And the RSI power zones held the bull support power zone. It was a great clue that, hey, this breakout actually is going to have legs and persist. Price broke higher, rode really strong, as we all are likely know, into January of 2018. And that whole move coincided with the RSI 
on the power zones moving from the bull support to lower green lines to the bull resistance to upper green lines. Hugely helpful. Then there was a very, very sharp fall. Now on a weekly chart, that really steep looking fall that lasted several days condensed into just a couple bars. But notice that we, all we had was the RSI moving from the bull bear, excuse me, bull resistance power zone to upper green lines to the bull support power zone. So that right there was a clue that this might just be sideways consolidation or corrective move, not the beginning of a major top. A lot of people were getting really toppy here. I was not, and this is one of the reasons why. So that led to a sideways period, and I was able to get my traders ready for the upside break that followed it because of the action in RSI power zones as one of my tools. See, and there's a breakout we had after that. So just another walkthrough. Are you seeing the value of momentum trading? Are you seeing the value of applying RSI power zones to a market like the S&P via the SPY? Type a Y for me, please, if you are. Terrific. All right, I don't really know what raising hands is about, but I'm in a flow here, so I'm gonna take your questions later at the end when we go through charts and we're gonna just keep it moving, okay? Now that we've gone through what momentum is and how I use it via the RSI power zones, now we're gonna dive into my three-step approach to using RSI power zones to finding great trade setups, okay? I'm gonna show you actual setups that I found and pointed to my members. The takeaway here is going to be this three steps that you can take a screenshot of the slide when you're done that will help you when you're applying momentum analysis. So the first step, review the chart and assess the price trend. I'm going to show you how I do that. Now you have three choices. We tend to often think only of uptrend and downtrend, but sideways, sideways trends, that's a choice. The market can go sideways and does go sideways. And when that is the case, it should filter out what kind of trades you're doing. Step two, evaluate the RSI power zones reading. What we're doing is looking at where the RSI value is relative to the four power zones. Remember, there were two green zones and two red zones, two plus two makes four. Knowing which of the zones that is in, which on my indicator, which I offer, you can just clearly see visually where it's in, takes you to the next step which is when you would determine the presence of an entry signal between price and momentum. Over my many years, 20 years now, of studying this indicator in this way, I have developed an arsenal of signals that you can use for entry and exit, as well as management of the trade, okay? Those I teach in a full workshop, and I'll talk more about that a little later, but I wanna walk you through exactly real setups that I made that Traders can vouch for me that, yes, I said that on that day, and here's what happened. And that will also allow you to learn these steps. So let's go to stocks, mix it up a little, and now let's go to a daily chart. See how I have these check marks to show you what we're covering, guys? That way you know that I'm not just pulling a fast one on you. We really can use RSI power zones for a variety of markets and timeframes. How about Netflix? Why Netflix? Well... I tend to cover the stocks in my analysis that my members ask about, but then I also have my own side where I just analyze the market and I talk about things I'm seeing. And this was one of those times. So in spring of last year, I looked at the price action on Netflix and I looked at the RSI power zones and I said, guys, there is an opportunity here. Here is how I determined it. Step one, review the chart and assess the price trend. Everyone take your eyes, follow my mouse, hypnotizing you to the bottom left of the screen. Okay. And stay on the upper part here, just on the price, the little red and green bars, the candlesticks. When you look at the information I gave you, you can see that there was a high and between it price made lower, uh, you know, registered levels, right? So that was a high that lasted for some time until we got to this low. After this low was formed, price moved higher and exceeded the first high. In fact, it traded up to a new high, a higher high, pulled back, made a higher low, resumed again, made a higher high. And so far, because it's respecting this latest higher low, it's setting up to put in a new higher low. 
That is how you identify trends using price highs and price lows. You can go back to the beginning of the contract or the first trade day of the stock. But if you're looking at a daily chart like this and you have several months, that gives you the ammo you need to be able to do what I just did and determine, hey, you know what? We're in an uptrend in price, but it's a corrective pullback in motion. We're not on the new upswing yet. The market's deciding whether it wants to continue. Okay, we don't know. We can just line up the odds against us or for us, <laughs> I should say. Step two is where you evaluate the RSI power zones reading. It's between the two lower green lines. That's the bull support power zone. Those two things right there allow you to go to the next step where you can now look for a bullish signal between price and momentum. And the signal that I identified between price and momentum led to the following move. Okay. Here's what unfolded. This whole rally came off of those lows. And I called this out to my members. If you were listening, if you're paying attention, if you were reading my market updates, you could have taken advantage of this and pulled profit from it. Exactly how much? Well, here's the size of the move, okay? The size of the move based on the signal I determined from the RSI power zones was this. On April 4th, Netflix put in a low at 271.22. It rallied to June 21st of 2018 and put in a high at 423.21. Big green arrow shows you the move. What is that in numbers? $151.99, but in percentages, guys, that's a 56% move higher. Huge, right? That's going, again, half the distance you've already done in the history of the stock. So these are the types of opportunities that can emerge when you put RSI power zones and price together and follow these three steps. And as I mentioned, I have a whole workshop that dives into RSI power zones for true mastery. And I'll show you the signal when I teach you the workshop because I can't teach you everything you need to know within an hour. It would do you a disservice and it would shoot you in the retirement. Yes, I said retirement, not foot. Your money isn't just money, right? It's the blood, sweat, tears that it took to make it. You can't afford to lose any of it. And I'm trying to hear to, to help you maximize it. And if I told you that I could teach you everything I know about RSI power zones and all the signals and all the setups, I'd be lying to you. And anybody else who said something like that probably is too. So don't do this at home without help, okay? That's what brought you here today. If you could do this without help, you wouldn't be here. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you what you've been missing and then we can look at how I can teach you more in depth. So is this making sense? Are you getting this, guys? Type a yes for me in the chat box. A Y a yes if you're getting this. You see the value of applying momentum this way. Terrific. Let's move on to another market that you're familiar with. And I don't know what all this raising hand stuff is for, Rich, but if it's questions, I'll get to them towards the end. So Twitter. Again, an actual call, actual trade setup I gave my members. Step one, review the chart and assess the price trend. Take your eyes back to the bottom left of the screen. All right. Oh, this is a new slide I added in, so I didn't have them all painted out, but I think I know how to use Zoom to draw things. So let's go take a gander. Here we go. I'm going to uh, put little arrows. Oh, wait, no, I think I can just draw. Here we go. Higher high. Higher low, this was a bit of a complex correction. Higher high, higher low, higher high. But look at this move right here. All of this was a segmented move that is stabilized or that formed, I should say, after a break above this original high. So now I feel like I went too far. I went too techy on you. Sorry, that CMT, it sticks it. Pops up even when I need to keep things simple. So I'm going to do this again for you and you'll understand the price aspect, okay? So we have a low, high, low, high, low. And what I was saying is that all this broke up into several pieces, but when price went above this high is when this higher low formed. So now we're going to monitor this high to see if this becomes a true higher low, okay? Now I can go back to the mouse. <clears throat> Next up is to evaluate the, evaluate the RSI power zones reading. 
holding bull support, right? It touched slightly below, but as the price is starting to lift up and confirm, it's coming back in the bull support power zone. And here's another thing, guys. Always, always look at RSI relative to its own history. Always look at where it is relative to its own levels. And here was at recent oversold levels, okay? Now, using Twitter, using price and momentum, I created a target on April 10th that I calculated, 39.13, and put it out to the world, put it out to my world, the Hema Ready world. And guess what? By the time that we got to June, the market reached that target. There was a 26.60 low on April 4th, and a 39.13 target was met on June 5th. That's a $12.53 advance and 47% move higher. Who would have liked to take advantage of that? Knowing that you could use price and momentum to calculate upside targets. Type a Y for me if you would have liked to be able to do that setup back in Twitter and want to catch the next time it happens. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to look at another example with clear all drawings. There you go. A different type of market. Currency. Swiss franc. Again, I made this call to the world, okay? So with this chart here, this is a daily chart of the Swiss franc. Same steps we employ, review the chart and assess the price trend. We had a high, we had a low. We had a lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low, lower high, and what seems to be a lower low forming. This is definitely lower low because we moved below the last loan price. So when you have a sequence of lower highs and lower lows in the market, that is a downtrend in price. And right now, this doesn't have a lot of upside corrective action going. Where's the RSI power zones? The RSI power zones moved from the bear resistance power zone to the bear support power zone. What does that mean? See how this lower high, RSI was in the bear resistance power zone? In all this mess, this, of this market falling, all the RSI did was come down to the bear support power zone. So you look at the zones as potential boundaries. They're not going, they're not ceilings of cement, okay? Because if they were, then trends would never change. But they give you a very good guide to how a trend might be persisting. Then we move on to determining that entry signal between price and momentum, if there is one. And here is what I pointed out. Again, I put this out to the world, the Hema Ready world. And if folks took advantage of it, this is what they could have capitalized on. This is the move that followed. It's low on February 16th of 2018 to this high on May 7th of 2018. Okay, this is how FX is priced for those of you who are not familiar. You've got these four digits after it. If you do all the math and you take the current uh, pricing of the Swiss franc and you look at exchange rates and all that business, and I double checked this with an FX trader friend of mine, this was an $8,600 move, $8,600 off one signal using price momentum. That's it. And there were many opportunities to take advantage of it because even though the signal has an origin point, there's so many dips in a market, right? The market, when it's in a full trend motion, gives you opportunities to take advantage of the trend. My dad used to say, there's always another train, Hema. Okay, don't chase a trade. If you didn't get in on the pullback you thought you would, let another one unfold. And if it's not a good risk reward, it's okay. There'll be a new trend. Always another train. I'm really excited to be sharing this with you guys today because I'm very passionate about the work that I do to provide traders with the best analysis and education to trade the markets. And I know that the concept of power zones can really make a huge positive impact in your trading. Okay? This is what makes me all excited about it and that comes through when I'm talking to you. So the good news is whether you're new to studying momentum or have been doing it for years, this approach can really help you extract more profits from the markets and be more consistent. And consistent profits is what it's all about. I'm not done here. We're going to keep going. But so far, I want to know, did I provide value for you today? Did you learn? Are you ready for more? Go ahead and type a Y in the chat box. All right. Terrific. Then you will want to master RSI Power Zones. Okay. And you can do that by joining my RSI Power Zones workshop. 
And in the RSI Power Zones workshop, I bring you my 20 years experience is 100% focused on content. And most of the content is accessible instantly, starting with video tutorials. So some of the topics I cover the following. My favorite RSI pattern setups. Remember, since momentum is a derivative of price, it can be studied just like price as you saw today. And that's what inspired me to seek out and then solidify the setups that I teach. Candlesticks, all right? The candlesticks that best reinforce RSI power zone signals. I used to write candlestick questions for the CMT exam. I was a question writer, a question grader. So I was a student and then I became on the other side of the fence. So I know a thing or two about candlesticks and I'll teach you the most powerful candlestick signals to trade with RSI power zones. Now, bar chart reversal signals. This is a source of how I determine support and resistance. And my members know how reliable my methods of finding support and resistance in the market are. If you're one of my members and you see me apply this analysis daily, go ahead and type a Y for me now. And if I recognize your name, I'm gonna call you out and say hello. Okay. So in the workshop, I teach the exact approach that I use to find the best price floors and ceiling. Awesome, I saw AJ in here, I saw Ashok. Yes, good to see you guys. Perfect. So there are lots of folks in here coming up that use this approach because they've invested the time and energy to learn from what my workshop has to offer. And this is just a tasting of the topics, guys. There's much, much more. So as you go through the video tutorial, you'll also have cheat sheets that you can download and print and keep right by your trading desk. Okay, this harkens back to like my middle school days, some tough science teachers who teach you something on Wednesday and then have a pop quiz by Friday, but at least the nicer ones would let you bring in a page or a half page of formulas, right? So my cheat sheets are very easy to read. They're grids like this, and they have step-by-step -step, um, uh, processes to follow, and there's an overall seven-step trading strategy that covers the whole system. And this moves you faster on your path to RSI mastery. So you'll get instant access to this complete cheat sheet PDF and more. Now, I'm also including the RSI Power Zones indicator in all of the formats shown here. This will populate the zones for you. You don't have to worry about figuring out what the settings are, or drawing lines, it takes care of it for you. I have it available for all these platforms, which I'm gonna read off quickly. TradeStation, Thinkorswim, NinjaTrader 8, NinjaTrader 7, Sierra Chart, Trade Navigator, eSignal, Ensign, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, and TradingView. Okay. I'm a trade station gal, like Faust is a trade station guy. And that's what I've been using since the beginning of time. I was forced at some of my jobs to use other charting platforms and wasn't a fan. So I um, brought myself back to trade station and it's my go-to, which you'll see in a moment. This indicator access guys is very rare uh, setup here in that it's a no limit download. What does that mean? You can download this to as many machines as you like, as many times as you like, for as many of these platforms as you like. Let's say you currently have NinjaTrader, but you've been thinking about TradeStation and you want to experiment with RSI Power Zones. You just log into your portal for the workshop, grab it, no biggie. If it's populated in your portal, it's yours to use without limit, okay? Now, the last part of this course is live. This is a live bonus session. It's already scheduled. It's a go-to webinar, which is a lot like Zoom, with me for this Tuesday, August 6th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, Long Island time. And in this session, what I'll do is, for those of you who've signed up for the workshop, you'll have had several days to go through the content. You'll get some questions brewing. You'll have some markets you'll wanna look at. And you can ask me your questions. I'll provide answers. I'll review your markets. And you're gonna get a taste of what that looks like in a moment. And this session will be recorded and placed in your course portal for lifetime access. So if for any reason you are not able to attend live or you have to come late or leave early, you will still have the full recording available, okay? So, so far you've heard about my background, my application of market analysis to my trading and how I've come to really benefit from using RSI power zones. Here's some, what some of my workshop students have to say. In just a few months, HEMA's RSI indicator has become the standard on all of my charts, said Rob C in Alberta, Canada. I installed the RSI Power Zones indicator, and it's just amazing how accurate it is on all markets. It actually gives advanced warning before the price moves, said David in Washington. My first month using RSI Power Zones was also my best trading month so far. 
said Susie in Colorado. So here is my special offer for Cyber Trader Expo attendees. And I'm gonna stay around till the end of my time here. We're gonna to go to live markets and look at what the RSI power zones and price are up to. Before I do that, I wanna make sure you have the tools you need to really dive in. So the on-demand video tutorial and cheat sheets have a retail value of $1,997. The live Q&A bonus session has a retail value of $497. And the RSI power zones indicator has a retail value of $497. Now this adds up to $2,991. My personal commitment is at any time to provide at least five to 10 times in value what you invest in any program of mine. So for today, you can get this for $197. That's just a one-time investment. It's not a subscription, it's just one time only. And you can sign up at hemaready.com forward slash cyber. So Rich, if you could go ahead and type that link in for the chat box, that'd be great. I can keep moving here and make use of my valuable time with everyone. So why do you need this workshop? Well, first of all, before we get into that, the doors close at 10 p.m. Eastern tonight because I like action takers, okay? So I want you to be able to get in, use the material, start with it. You have lifetime access to it, okay? For the life of the product, you can go in and out, log in and out, watch videos as much as you want. But we do have that bonus session next week, and I want you to be able to utilize it. Why do you need this workshop? Why can't you just go backtrack and try to figure this all out for yourself? Well, I give you the detailed strategies on how to best trade with this indicator. I prevent you from reinventing the wheel and that saves you time and money in the long haul. Listen, I was in your shoes, a kid, a kid growing up in Long Island who was very blessed, lucky enough to have a father willing to teach her when she showed interest at a young age about the markets. I was at the Traders Expos in Manhattan at Marriott in Times Square in their early years, okay? And I would go and see the greats speak, and I'm sure I saw Fausto several times along the way and wondered if I've ever even get to talk to this guy, and now we're friends, which is awesome. And when I would sit with my dad and try to figure out what we were learning in the 45 minute or 30 minute session and go home and undo it, oh gosh, that was usually a mess. When we decided together, hey, let's invest in this course or that course or this tool and then got the actual professional instruction, we did so much better, okay? So that's my own experience feeding into that. Now here's what happens after you sign up. You'll get two emails that will let you know that you're completely hooked in, you're ready to rock. You get your access, our side power zones workshop, and then you get a receipt from Seller Wealth, which is my company name. We fixed that, updated it, so now it should say something like HEMA Ready Enterprises by Seller Wealth. So that's what you'll see when you sign up. Just want to make sure you know. Now, I am going to get to trade station charts here in a moment, but I wanted to tell you about one more thing, an undisclosed bonus that is new and special for you. You're going to get a three-day free sneak peek at my groundbreaking Skinny on the Mini. The Skinny on the Mini covers the ES futures three or more times a week. I'm definitely publishing a fresh report tomorrow before we get the employment numbers. So you wanna be able to take advantage of that. I publish the NASDAQ on Mondays and Wednesdays. And you're gonna get these for three days to be able to see my picks right there for you. Now, why only three days? Because it's that valuable, guys. I have some traders making money on seven out of 10 reports. So for three days, you get my morning market research direct to your inbox. That's my expert picks that you can use right now in your trading. This one bonus is easily worth more than the entire package. Again, this is only available until 10 p.m. Eastern. So if you get it now and you sign up in time for 10 p.m. tonight, then tomorrow, first thing in the morning, you're going to get my latest market research to your inbox. And you'll get that through Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, three business days. Now, I want to make sure that we are talking about your markets and that you're seeing these RSI power zones and momentum come to life on your, on your chart. So this is me as a superhero. You may have noticed my little comic icons. I'm into comic books and superheroes and such. So to the charts we go, and I'm going to bring over my trade station and I'll keep that link handy for you. And I've got it all ready. See, I was listening before. So I put in your tickers that you gave me about markets you want to look at. And we're going to take a quick look here. So, again, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with the raising hands. Maybe, Rich, if you could retype um, questions that uh, I'm missing that you feel are important, and I'll answer them as I see fit. Uh, do you have scans using this indicator? Michael, I am your scanner. 
So on top of the RSI Power Zones workshop, you will hear about my stock picks that I do every week where I scan the market and I provide them for you. So that is something you'll hear about after you sign up for the workshop. All right, who asked about the ES? I had a feeling it was one of my mentees, AJ. I feel like I saw that early on. Am I right, AJ? Was it you? Okay, so we've got the ES daily chart here, which see, this doesn't surprise me at all. The way that this market was trading yesterday after the Fed announcement. Oh, geez. Okay. I changed my screen settings on my new computer. So I have things popping up in unexpected places, but we're, we're moving along here. See how we retraced so much of that action. So here's this market on a 60 minute chart guys this morning in the skinny on the mini, I suspected this. You would have been long. If you followed my report at that time, we were here. It was before this little red bar was even finished. I said, guys, based on what the RSI power zones are doing, based on what the price is doing, I think that while we're staying above a certain key support level, we're actually going to go higher. My upside target was 3001.5. We've exceeded it. However, everybody here, where's our side back on the 60 minute chart? It's in the upper two red lines. That's the bear resistance power zone. Now that's not necessarily meaning that mark price will form a high, but it's a clue and it's something to observe. Okay. So from here, I would start pruning down. So I go, I trade the ES on a three minute chart, but for your analysis here, I wanna look at a 15 minute chart. And see on the 15 minute chart, we started hanging out. See how on the 15 minute chart even, it moved from bull support to bull resistance. It's like clockwork guys, it happens so often, okay? So that's where I'm at for whoever asked about the ES that I think we're at a decision point here. I think you gotta give a couple hours, but the support to watch, 3005.25. And you'll get the full update on how things are looking ahead of employment numbers when I publish the skinny tomorrow. All right, we had a question about oil. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing my charts? Can you type a Y for me? I just want to make sure I have my screen share shut up right. So please type a Y if you can see my charts. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <coughs> and you can still see my PowerPoint with the link chemoready.com forward slash cyber. Rich, maybe you can confirm for me. All right, great. Oh, I still got 10 minutes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them up for you guys. So CL. Remember we started this conversation with the oil CL chart? Well, let's come back and see. Now let's go on a 15 minutes a little much. Let's start with a weekly and just get everybody some perspective. I might have some other rogue analysis on here. I'll talk about it if it's relevant. Otherwise, it's just stuff I had on the chart a long time ago, and it's not really making you know, a difference for the analysis now. So let's take a look at where we are right now. So what I really want to do is just draw these two tentative trend lines on the current price action. So these two tentative trend lines, why are they tentative? Because um, the third touches have not occurred. There's only one anchor and one joiner. There's no third touch. And if you went to CMT exam and you sat and said, these are two trend lines on CL, you would fail or you would lose points. Okay. You've got to have a distinction between tentative trend lines, ones that are not confirmed yet, and then actual trend lines. But this is a really useful guide. And I'm suspecting that we have a little bit more of churn ahead. Now I'm going to take this to a daily chart and look even closer. The indicator is uh, the availability, Bob, is listed at hemoready.com forward slash cyber. Okay, I'll go through it again one more time before we part here, but I really want to answer you guys' questions about the markets, but they're all listed on the sign-up page. And yes, you can use it for stocks. You can use it for, you wrote ETDs. I think you mean ETFs. You can use it for options, futures. Yes, I use it for all of them. My members use it for all of them. Pat asks, you just use the RSI indicator for different markets you trade? No, the RSI Power Zones indicator is one tool in my toolbox. And again, in an hour between making sure everybody understands what momentum is, between making sure you know who I am and why you should bother listening to me, that's what I decided to make the, the core of this so that you know the potential, Pat, okay? You don't have to rely on your default indicator settings. There are better ways to use what's in your platforms, okay? So, I have the platforms listed again. And you know what? A couple of people are asking about this. So I'm going to jump back for a moment and go back to 
I'm going to pause share for a second. I'm just going to go back to the slide where it has them listed since I've seen this question a couple times. Okay, you should see here in one second, I'm now resuming the share. Do you guys see the list? I'll say it one more time and then we're going to go to TradeStation. There's no time limit, Pat. Just 197 gives you access to the lifetime of the product and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. The live session class, Robert, is 60 minutes with me on Tuesday. And we dive right in, no intro, no hi, nice to meet you. Like we just get right to business. Okay, everybody listening for the indicator platforms I have, ready? TradeStation, Thinkorswim, Ninja Trader 7 or 8. I say those first because that covers the majority of traders. We've also got Sierra Chart, Trade Navigator, eSignal, and Sign. And that's a setup because those are setup instructions. It's nothing to download, but it explains how to get it going. MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and TradingView. Yes, Jonathan, you can install it in all three of your platforms. No limit. Maybe I should start adding that to this slide. I got to remember that. No limit means download as many times as you want, on as many machines as you want, for as many trading charting platforms as you want. That's your business. Okay, me, I'm TradeStation. I was on one machine and then my computer crashed in July. So now I'm on two machines, but same idea. Okay, if I needed to go back into the portal as a, as a student and get it, no problem. Your computer crashed, no problem. You wanna to move to a new software, no problem. Just go in your portal and download it as much as you need. And there are installation instructions for every single one. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back to my market screen and back to uh, your requests. All right, so I, and I talk again, I talk every time I'm pausing, unpausing. Okay, I'm resuming the share. All right, let's move through the list. We had YM that was asked about. Where are the Dow futures? Maybe I should just go and ask my mom. Ha ha, poor mom. I'll tell her, don't worry. I, I don't do this often, but like I said, it was a story about driving to Long Island Railroad and I always um, think of Long Island when I'm hanging around Fausto and his team, so I had to bring it up. All right, everybody see my YM chart? Here we've got the daily chart. We've got the RSI power zones. You guys tell me, we're in the two lower green lines. Which zone are we holding? It's a, it's a good sign. I think that this is a good sign that the weakness yesterday, which you know many can interpret as the market not being happy with either the language that Powell had or that it was only, what, 25 basis points cut, whatever, that it was just like a little bit of a bratty child reaction and now everybody's going to get their head back in the game and go shopping for stocks. Yes, great job, Dean. Bull support power zone, the two lower green lines. Okay, awesome. Again, all this populates on your indicators after you download them from the workshop. So positive um, outlook here, except I would like to see confirmation on the daily chart for any of these, ES, YM, NQ. So what I'm seeing here that I wanna draw is a tentative trend line joining the July 15th high and July 23rd high on the continuous chart, that's the at symbol of mini Dow futures. And if we get a close above that line, well, first, most aggressive is if we get a close above yesterday's high. Next most aggressive, like, or next most conservative, meaning, you know, you want even more validation, the trend is continuing, is a close above this falling trend line. And then from there, I would, have new targets laid out because we're in new, potentially new territory. Robert asks, will we have access to recording in the live session class? Absolutely, Robert. You will have access to all of the educational content I mentioned and so uh, and to the um, recording of the bonus session. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys time here to get uh, signed up and situated, but I want to go through the other two markets real quick that were asked because I did ask and you guys gave me your tickers. Okay, silver on the daily chart. Um, my husband and I are actually silver investors. And so we care about what's going on here. So I think we're still in a potential pullback mode. I think if we get back to the June 21st high and then stabilize, that'll be a good time, okay? And then I'm going to go to the last one, which is natural gas. And for natural gas, here it is. Here's the daily chart. 
I mean, to me, instantly, this is a downtrend we've been in. However, I will say there's some interesting stuff going on in the RSI power zones and price that could say that there's still room for a choppy recovery ahead, but I would not be doing any long plays with seriousness. Those would be scalps, okay, going the opposite of the persisting trend. Okay, I'm getting asked to start wrapping up. So this is it, last call. If you have any last markets you wanna look at, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the NQ if you don't, because this is one that um, I also detail Mondays and Wednesdays in the skinny and the mini. And remember, if you sign up for the RSI Power Zones workshop, you're getting a three day sneak peek to the skinny on the mini. Okay, NQ is very similar to the Dow. See, this consolidation highs, I wanna see closing break above yesterday's high, which is hinting at, or a break beyond that. All right, Starbucks real quick, and then I'm gonna wrap up. Starbucks, it's funny, this chart was on my screen the other day, and my husband, who is not a trader, was like, what chart is that? Talk about like a parabolic move. And I was like, Starbucks. He's like, oh man. I was like, yeah. So Starbucks right now is just was relieving itself of being these extreme conditions in the bull resistance power zone, pulling back. Um, I would want to see a closing break above 98.28 before considering further upside. Otherwise, I think there's room to come back and close more of the gap. All right, guys, here it is all for you one more time. I am excited to have imparted this knowledge to you. And if you have been benefiting from your time with me, please go ahead and type a yes for me. Why? For yes, and I will see you next time. And I look forward to seeing those of you who are new to my work in the workshop and in our bonus session next week. All right, have a great rest of the event. Thank you, Fausto. Thank you, Rich. And stay tuned for our next speaker who's coming up in just a moment.